Installing the Shelly Plus Mini on elevator buttons will provide us with numerous advantages, including the ability to request the elevator through the phone or via the Shelly Bluetooth button. Or we can even create a security system for the elevator by adding an NFC tag, for example, and disabling the elevator button. In this case, it is not possible to request the elevator, it can only be done through the phone. We can also request the elevator from inside the house, for instance, through a door sensor located on the main door that is automated with confirmed departure times, or even through buttons inside the house. I have this switch that disables the alarm system and turns off the lights and air conditioning through it. Additionally, I added it for requesting an elevator. I'll turn off all the lights and ACs, and I will call the elevator. Welcome to the We Smart channel. Today we will install the Shelly Plus Mini on the elevator button. One of the most important differences between the OnePlus and the OnePlus Mini is the small size in favor of the Mini. The operating voltage of the Plus is superior to the Mini, capable of operating on 12 volts or 24 volts, up to 48 volts. Additionally, it outperforms it in terms of amps. Plus has 16 amps, and the Mini has 8 amps. Of course, we can install either of them on the elevator. Purchase links will be available in the first comment below or in the description box. Let's proceed to the installation. We will remove the cover of the elevator button. What is important to us are the connected wires. With the elevator button, we have four points on it. One, two, three, four. The first point that has the brown wire on it is clearly the positive line. Of course, we will confirm this with a voltmeter. It is clear to us that the blue line is the negative line, and the green wire is a jumper that connects between two points. From here to here, this tells me. When we press the button, the negative is delivered to this point. And through the existing jumper, the negative is delivered to the point at the bottom, and this is how the elevator is activated, and the button's lighting is turned on. Let us confirm this with a voltmeter. Now, if we measure the voltage between these two points, we will notice that it is 26 volts. Of course, we can operate the OnePlus and not the Mini directly through these voltages in case we want to install the Shelly, if we have enough space for it in the elevator button box. Now, if we check the point with the jumper on it, we will not get any voltage. But, if we press the elevator button, we will get 26 volts. I will press for a long time to demonstrate the voltage. This means that when the button is pressed, the negative line is connected to the point on which the jumper is located. This means that if we connect a wire between this point and the point on which the jumper is located, the elevator request will be completed. So, we will let Shelly do this task, connecting these two points together. I chose Shelly One Plus Mini because I don't have space in the button compartment, so I only need to add two more wires in this way and connect them to the two points, one with the negative line and one at the point with the jumper. Thus, my work in the elevator button compartment is complete. And the second end of the wire goes to the light above the door of the house, because I want to activate the Shelly. Utilizing the electricity from the 220 volt lighting, it powers the Shelly directly. I removed the switch from inside the house, as it originally controlled the IKEA Zigbee light, which is directly powered. In your case, you have the option to extend the existing live or hot wire from the switch, which already carries electricity. I connected it directly utilizing WAGO connectors to tap into the live and negative wires from the existing light wiring. I then wired these connections to Shelly Mini, with the live wire connected to L and the negative wire connected to N. And the two ends of the wire installed on the elevator button are connected to terminals I and O, the ones that serve as dry contact relays, and do not carry any voltage. And this is what it looks like after installation. It is crucial to maintain a distance between Shelly Mini and the LED bulbs to prevent heat transfer. With the installation now complete and the Shelly device added to the application, we will set an auto off timer after half a second, so that every time we call the elevator and the relay is on, it will turn off after half a second, and it will be ready to make a new request for the elevator. Hopefully, you found the video helpful. If so, please consider liking and subscribing. Peace be upon you.